Because while I do think mocking Joe Rogan for taking a fucking Z pack and all this other shit and whatever he's putting out, you know, prednisone. I mean, you know, it's like, yeah, I mean, those are all things that treat illnesses, but like taking them for fucking COVID. I mean, when you could just take a goddamn vaccine, like you just take that and you don't have to do any of that other shit. Like it's so crazy. But anyway, I, uh, so OSU puts out this rural medicine thing, um, showing, uh, the various populations and vaccination rates and stuff. And so there is a significant spread, like 45% of the urban population is fully vaccinated, but only 35% of the rural population. But when they put, so like, it's a, that's a big, statistically, that's a significant, you know, spread. Uh, like that means obviously it's been ideologically, politically driven, whatever. But I noticed that there was one, a couple counties that this really didn't, track with. And one of them is the most vaccinated county in the state, which is Caddo County. 50.9 people, 50.9% of their total population is vaccinated. And 95% or almost 95% of their over 65 population is fully vaccinated, which is like for total population, it's slightly higher than Oklahoma City, but for over 65, it's way higher. So so I called um, the Caddo County Health Department and said, you know, what's up? Uh, you know, because either there's two things going on. Either y'all are reporting numbers and it's getting confused in the system and, you know, it's probably not accurate. Or y'all are doing something really great that we need to be thinking about. And I'm going to say it's number two. Uh, I talked to uh, one of their, like, head nurses that's over this stuff there. They were kind enough to call me back. I just said I'm interested and curious about this and want to know more. And um, so they had a, a conversation with me. I think Caddo County is managed out of Comanche County Health Department. So like, and you can kind of see down here. Uh, so Caddo is the big uh, kind of L-ish shaped county. Uh, my pointer doesn't show up on the screen anymore. But anyway, uh, and then there's the county directly south of that is, so they're the dark purple one. And the county directly south of that is Comanche, which is, a darker blue, which means they have a higher vaccination rate too. But I mean, basically she just said, we got aggressive with this. Like we're doing all the things like we're doing back to school events. We're um, in the hospitals constantly. We're like, they're being aggressive. And I know that maybe that sounds scary to some people, but like in the sense that like any chance we get to get out in front of the community and say, Hey, y'all should do this. And here it is right here. If you have any questions, like we'll answer them. That's what they're doing. And they're doing it like all over the place and hustling. I mean, you know, this lady did sound like they've worked um, an incredible number of hours, but they've even got, they've even identified spots where they have like high concentrations of Hispanic people. They have an interpreter that they take with them. I mean, it's just like, I mean, she just rattled off. Like, it's like everything you would want your health department doing that would encourage vaccination, Caddo County is doing. And so... You know, I, we'll talk about it maybe a little bit if we have time, but like we talked about a lot on Wednesday was the city council meeting in Oklahoma City. You know, the, 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 the health department came and gave a presentation. It was very like graph and chart driven and not so much like community driven and how we're going to get out and like get the people that, you know, would get a vaccine, but maybe they're busy or maybe they're you know, not really thinking about it, that nobody really asked them directly. Command, or, or, or sorry, uh, Caddo County is doing all that. Like, they're just like, anytime, anywhere. I mean, she was like, we had pop-up things. We, we, they have a clinic that's open, you know, eight to five every day, no appointments, just show up and get your thing. Like, I, I mean, I assume Oklahoma County Health Department's doing that, but I don't like know that for sure or see it. Um, so, I mean, just like lowering all the barriers, getting aggressive with people, meaning like communicating that this is really important and we need you to do it. Also, apparently the hospital is like offering them, um, you know, to everybody and really trying to push how important it is for folks to get it. And subsequently they have the highest vaccination rate in the state. So I don't know, maybe we should do some of that shit. Three things. Number one. Be aggressive, be, be aggressive. Isn't it like a cheer from Bring It On? It's one of those movies. Um, number two, shots out to Caddo County. At number three, that's what leadership looks like. Yeah. This shit ain't rocket science. What if Kevin Stitt did that for the entire state? 
And it sounds like they're getting help um, from the uh, state health department. I mean, I guess when they need resources, they are able to get it. I did throw out, like, you know, it's like, man, I wish they could have the National Guard out. And she's like, yes, like, that would really help. Um, so, you know, because we don't have a state of emergency and because Kevin Stitt isn't prioritizing it, we don't have that resource um, but it just shows that even in rural areas, cause, um, and I thought I'd save this article, but now I, now I don't know what I did with it. Um, the frontier, uh, did an article about, um, uh, the Dewey County has like yeah. the lowest uh, vaccination rate, um, in, and that's, that's like Western Oklahoma has the lowest vaccination rate in the state. Um, and. So I'm happy for Cattle County because, like, as a rural, as a person who's a native of rural Oklahoma, I ride and die for rural Oklahoma, and sometimes they make it hard. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. <laughs> like so, sometimes they make it hard. But shout out to Cattle County. Um, and again, it's in a rural area. They, they don't have a ton of access to to resources or whatever the case may be in terms of like proximity, but they're doing the fucking work, and that's what leadership looks like. Yep, at the state level. Yeah, and, and it's crazy, too, because Stevens County is the big light-colored one just to the right of Caddo County. And, I mean, it's a full 20 points lower on their vaccination rate. Like, they are at 30% fully vaccinated, and Caddo County is at 50%. So, I mean, it just shows, like, what a difference uh, one person who is thoughtful and— I mean, it just shows the power of good government if, they, if you just— do the right thing and think it through. Like, so, um, Again, yeah. This, what they're doing doesn't sound, shout out to them for, t it, it's effort more than, than rocket science, right? This isn't complex, governmental, nuanced, it's getting to the people. It, it's, it's effort and it comes from basically, you know, you say, you spoke about uh, Hispanic communities and interpreters. It's basic humanity. It's basic yeah. caring about people. And if you care about people in their way, you will say, okay, how can I meet you where you are? How can I take yep. the effort to meet you where you are and get you this essential thing? And just imagine if we had that at the state level. Thanks for watching our video. Please give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. If you want to engage with us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram.